Keep watching Charis TV. After I pray for you, pastors, believe. Believe in overflow. Amen. Believe in overflow. Amen. Go and sit down with your wife. You hear me? There is something is not going well. Yes. You know? Huh? Yes, sister. Yes. Sit down with your wife, discuss this thing. Because your prayers are important. Yes. Your prayers are important. If she's she's complaining. Yes. Huh? Yes, did. Come on. Solve this thing uh, tonight. Mama? Yes. You hear me? Yes. Please, solve this thing because Satan is using this thing to hinder your ministry. Yes, Daddy. You understand? Yes. Uh, there will be something like a quarrel, misunderstanding. From there, uh, this, this lady, she's, she's very worried about something. You are the only one who knows. You sit down. It's something that I can only reveal it, but you know. Mama, are you aware of what I'm saying? I didn't hear what Daddy said. Yes, that's the reason why I'm asking. Because she believes, she wants to see something on you. Huh? True, Daddy. Yeah, she wants to see something. Yes. But it's not happening. Yes. She has discovered why it is not happening. It's not true. It's true. Eh? It's true. And when she spoke about it, there's a problem. I don't want to say it here. Okay. When you speak about it, it's a issues. Yes, did. Eh? Yes, did. That disturbs your heart. Yes. You go together, sit down. Deal with this issue to, to be solved. Thank God you're the only one who knows it. This problem is giving you a problem. Yeah, it's true. Eh? It's, it's true. Sometimes it's just like it's hot. <coughs> yeah, it's eh? true. It's like it's becoming hot. You feel somehow. It's true. Eh? It's true. Jesus, then. You are free today, Jesus, then. I'm sure God will help you to deal with a temper. Yes. Sir. You understand? Yes, lady. Because that's the thing that devil is using, especially when you speak with this woman who yes, does lady. not understand your calling. Yes, lady. Huh? Yes, lady. And you will ask yourself, why this? Why this thing? This is the woman. She doesn't understand this calling. Are you supposed to work? What are you supposed to do? Are you supposed to do these things? And look here. Many people, they don't understand your, your calling. Yes, that huh? is true. But God will fight for you. God will fight for you. Yeah, come. Let me touch you here. These invitations that you are having, yes, you understand? Pray about this thing. Yes, sir. You understand? Yes, sir. Uh, they are good invitations. Yes, sir. Others are very bad. So yes, sir. You understand? Yes, sir. It's like people are calling you so that they attack you. Yes, sir. You understand? Yes, sir. You are aware even yourself? Yes, sir. I am, sir. What do you say, Mama? It's very true, sir. It's very true. These invitations, these invitations, if I'm you, I will, this year, I will just work. Amen. Yes, sir. You invite yourself. Amen. Yes, sir. You understand? Yes, sir. God will lift you up. He will advertise you. Amen. Amen. Uh, you'll be surprised. There's something of Zambia. Yes, sir. 
Eh? Yes, sir. There's something of Zambia. Yes, sir. What do you say about it? There's a man of God from Zambia that used to mentor me. Yes. Eh? There's a man of God from Zambia who used to mentor me. Mm -hmm. Yes. This is confusion. It's yes, true. Sir. But your wife is not happy about it. Are you happy about it? No, sir. Eh? No, sir. This invitation. Come. If we don't pray, you won't marry. You hear me? Uh, you stay with the woman, the woman will go. Stay with the woman. You hear me what I'm trying to say? Eh? Yes, sir. Because of the curse of your father. And certainly want to use this to limit your ministry. You hear what I'm going to say? Eh? Because you are praying a lot, but there's no progress. <laughs> I break this case of the female. This case of limiting you. Jesus, name. come. Where's your brother? Is him? Your brothers? You have the same case. You have the same case and you're all torn. You know... You know, I don't understand why Kez does not respect people. You understand? Uh, same case, you're all torn. And same case. The new people here, there was another man who was shot, who was a pastor. Yeah? Yes, sir. Where is he? I don't know right now where is he. Now you want to stand by yourself. He passed away. You pass away. My pastor, my yeah. senior pastor. Now you want to stand by yourself. That's why I came to you. So, you, you want me also to pass away? That is better. I am asking you, but because you are going to be very dangerous you, to the kingdom of Satan. Amen. You understand? Amen. You're going to be very dangerous. Amen. Yes, the man who was in front of you, the short man, yes. well, was not praying enough. They are attacking. Boom. That's true. Eh? That's true. So you, you will see all this thing happening. Uh, you pray. You pray. And sometimes God set people free this way. Yes, sir. To go and stand by themselves. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Uh, I don't understand. You want me to kneel down? Why are you doing this thing? Listen. If I didn't tell you this, you won't, you won't, you won't kneel down. Bring him. Bring him. You are free today. You must go and do God's work. My name is Shepherd, Shepherd Peter. I'm uh, from Pretoria. I'm here in Charis Missionary Church. And I thank God for this day. And especially for the prophecies which came out from the man of God. Yeah, I received the prophecy. The man of God said that he saw, he saw a short man who is a pastor. And... Uh, I confirmed that prophecy. I remember I used to have a pastor who passed away. In our ministry, we have now new pastors who are leading us. But uh, I was very much attached to, to him. In fact, my late pastor, one of my sons is carrying his name. So he, he passed away two years ago. And... Uh, I miss him, his guidance, and his training in ministry. But uh, we thank God that we still have people we can stand up to. So he said uh, he saw me standing on my own. Uh, for some time now, I'm trying to, to pray. I'm trying to do things that I've learned from my late pastor. And uh, I confirm that prophecy. But still, we do have people who support us. I do have a pastor. He prays for us. And then uh, we still need more. That's why, by the grace of God, we have come in this place. And we thank God for what we have received today. 
The man of God also said that uh, he can see a case, a case related to marriage, and he said, if I don't pray enough, I won't marry. I will move from one woman to another. Uh, I'm confirming that prophecy. Uh, it's true, there are challenges in marriages, but seeing what is happening in my family with my elder brother, um, I confirm that prophecy. And uh, I believe that by the impartation of the prayer of today, God will deliver us from uh, any curse related to marriage and any other curse that uh, may have been in our families. I thank God for this day and for the impartation of this day. Thank you very much. Okay, let's go. Yes. Uh, this is so you are together? Eh? Who is the other one you work with? Because I see you doing the same. You are together. You are doing the same, you guys. You look the same. Is that that one is short, but you are short, but you are, hey, you nearly even kicked me. Hey. Ah, they do the same. Zikapota, Zikapota, Zikapota. Hey, you went out. Lezikateta, Lezikateta, Zikapota. Hey, 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 Zikapota, you can't see that. Leiza keta ta ta ta. Zika pota ya kasi kapata. Ah. What if God can use these people? Let it happen in the name of Jesus. Come here, brother. You, you are young, but. You really need a spiritual father. Huh? It's true. Because you have been going around. Try to check. So you say you want to see I a spiritual a father first. Huh? I had a vision. A vision? Last year. Huh? In a vision, I was taken to a field. So it was I not saw a, it's not a vision. It was a dream. You had a, a dream when you were praying. So you were praying, you slept. Yeah, I saw a tree coming from the, the ground. Immediately it grows and it spread all over the place. So I heard the voice saying to me, Yes. If you want to grow, go there. So when I look at the tree, <coughs> it was. <coughs> Can we hear this man? Even when he speaks, I feel something like boom. Bring him. You need a special father this morning. Bring him to me. Sometimes God will give me people like this to pray for them. You understand? They face their own challenges and they overcome. <laughs> Even yourself, you have challenges, but you will overcome. Yeah. Okay. God bless you. God bless you. Remember what I was trying to tell you about this Zambian issue. You understand? Yeah, you must not allow someone to confuse you now. Yes, sir. You understand? You're not in a state of confusion. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. I'm going to pray for you. <laughs> brother, stop. Look here, brother. Look here, brother. I will see a Samoma spirit here. Amen. Where you come from. You hear Amen. me? Amen. And this spirit is fighting you. That is very true. Huh? That's very true. It's like you are coming from people of, who believe in charms. Yes, very eh? true. That's very true. My and grandfather. Eh? My grandfather. Your grandfather. Yes. If we can all pray with you, 
like this, you'll overcome the spirit. Because this spirit comes to you like a woman when you asleep there. Yes. Eh? Yes. You are free today in Jesus' name. Let's bring other people. Let me touch this ear. These people are pastors and if pastor is doing like this, you you are going to climb the roof. Brother, which church were you going? Huh? Come again, you know. All the time. In counter fellowship center. Huh? In counter fellowship center. Yeah, I can't hear this man. Okay, come. You are together. Yes. Maybe you can answer me better. Which church are you going? Because you are doing the same. Encounter Fellowship Center in Preds. Encounter? Fellowship Center. Where? Preds Northwest. You must pray for the pastor. Eh? Amen. You hear me? Amen. Yeah, pray for the pastor. There are people who are fighting him. A lot. And, uh, so you people here, if you can support this pastor, it can be very good. Yes, man. This man has been given an apostolic ministry. But people are fighting him, fighting him, fighting him. Yes, man. If you pray for him, go will reveal your calling. Uh, are you a pastor? Yes, Papa. Eh? Yes, Papa. Uh, <laughs> yes. You know. You're the only one that I've asked you to all people here. Are you, you are pastoring? Yes, Papa. Where? And a bishop at, uh, at Villa Lisa, and a bishop Mokwen. What? And a bishop Mokwen. Mm. You're the only one I'm asking. Mm. You, you have a church? No, I don't have mine. I'm saving under him. And you're a pastor? Then? Yes, Papa. Yeah. So he's the one who says you're a pastor? Yes, Papa. But nobody has ever said it. It's only him. Yes, Papa. Mm. Come here, let me pray for you. Stand behind him. Let's bring her along. Where's your wife? She's your wife? Yes. Hey, what? So now, who's a pastor between you and your wife? So You're all pastors? Yes, my wife my, was being an uh, ordained and pastor. Me, I was ordained and apostle by Bishop Mokoyin. Yes. Oh. Okay. And nobody has ever said you are... Sorry, Pastor. No one's ever said you're a bishop, apostle. No, that Except to him. Uh, no, uh, yes. No one. Mm. I want to advise you, uh, yes. you, you are, that maybe you can be in a church where you don't, even if they say you're apostle, you're pastor, you're prophet, you don't look at that. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, you just say, no, I'm a Christian. Yes, you understand? Yes, man. It will work well for you. Yes, okay. sometimes we give people things. You understand? Yes. And if we allow God to give you also, it's important. Yes, Apostle. Yes, I know the wishes of your pastor. Yes, because one day uh, I see you. Oh, put your hands down. Okay, yes. Oh, Apostle, uh, before Charles Ebale, the anointing water, mm. I see you, you anointed me with anointed water. In Charis Missionary Church, and I get delivering here. So my prayer was, uh, I'm asking you to to pray for me. Clap hands for this man. Yeah. Honestly, yeah, it's not easy what I'm saying now. 
It's not easy for this man to say what he said. Especially when now he has been given a position and with his wife. But this man is very humble. Uh, this is a very humble person. Let us say. Jesus. Very, eh? It's true, Papa. This it's man, true, Papa. we love God. These are people that we can manipulate. We can say anything, they agree. Mm. Yes. Eh? It's true, Papa. If you say, do this, you do it. Do that. Yes, yes. Yeah, it's running this. Sometimes when we realize that you are doing what you are, you are saying, we say, you are a president. They agree. You understand? But this man, he went further to say, I'm called an apostle. You understand? He says, okay, let me pray, let me pray. Now he began to see a dream. Clap hands for this man. I want to pray for you, but I won't use a mighty word. Okay, okay, apostle. Yes, God loves you. Amen. God loves you. Amen. You love God so much. Oh, thank you, Jesus. You, you are going to heaven. Thank you, Jesus. I know it's God who declare what you are doing. Your heart is open. Yeah. You are like a child. Yes. Thank you, huh? Jesus. Yes, Papa, it's true. It's like a, you know, a baby. Yes. And someone said, go there. Yes. Sit down. Oh, yes. Come here. I see this man serving God like a, yeah. oh my God. In fact, it's like I can cry when I see this man doing. Mm. So you, that's Jesus. what the Bible says, in the kingdom, you must be like what? A child, you are serving and God will lift you up. Thank you, Jesus. You're blessed, you can go. Let's finish. My sister, you always come here. Eh? Which church are you going? Winners Chapel. Winners Chapel? Yes, sir. This lady always comes here. Goes to Winners Chapel. She loves God. Bring her. Okay. Which church are you going? I, I used to attend Roadmap Ministry. I was staying with the man of God. Okay. Your pastor? Pastor's wife. Pastor. Where's the pastor? Uh, he said to work. Your pastor's you people. Your pastor? Yes, sir. Where? I'm fellowshipping there in Brown Fisher. God bless. Clap hands for pastors.